Sticking out of the water in Lake Mead, directly east of the scavenger platform and close to the Crash B29, you can find Lake Mead Cave. Use this boat as a reference point because it's normally the easiest way. And jump into the water going northwest. Now, don't forget that underneath the boat there are some gore bags that tend to have some mutilated torsos and frag grenades. Going northwest towards the Crash B29, highly recommend you discover that. But if you are fast traveling, always go to Lake Mead Cave. Now, what is inside the cave itself is uh, is quite useful. The first area, you can get oxygen by going to the top. Dipping in, you can go right down here, find some shopping trolleys and first aid kits alongside ammunition boxes. Normally pretty stacked full of good stuff. There's also Sunset Sarsaparilla crates over on the other side of the chamber. Now, venturing deeper into the cave will require a rebreather as there is no pockets of oxygen once you enter the last main chamber, which is this. Now, go past this central pillar and you will find directly behind it, over to the right, sitting here among all these glowing mushrooms, some skeletons. Well, two skeletons to be precise, or is it just one of these in pieces? It's just one of these in pieces. He's surrounded by poker chips. Don't worry, they're not bottle caps. You don't have to pick them up. And in each suitcase, there is 20 pre-war money, meaning that uh, there's approximately 600 caps worth of value, a lad's life, and an ammunition box. There's also some set, There's some cars sitting down here. Well, bits of cars. I'm not entirely sure. Judging by the way the cave is and the lights coming in from the top, I assume there was other entrances at one point, perhaps, and uh, they were able to get a car inside. Uh, and then... Who knows, maybe he won big at the casino and the casino didn't like that, so they went to eliminate him. That's always a possibility. Poor guy's just, well, poor guy's remains is just stuck down here. But the pre-war money, it's all yours. Once you exit, as I said, go over, discover the B-29 if you haven't already. You'll need it for a later quest. And if fast traveling, if you do the B-29, it'll drop you over at Colville Bay. If you fast travel to Lake Mead Cave, it'll put you back on top of the boat. Bear that in mind for Valer. It'll make uh, it'll save you a lot of time from swimming. And that concludes Lake Mead Cave, one of my favourite uh, sub-water locations in New Vegas. Thank you for watching as always. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.